Good evening everybody, Flack is back, so we've got something really special today. Out of all the people that I've interviewed on the previous Mr. Flack podcasts, one common thing that everyone tends to say... I watch a lot of Fancy Orb, Confusion, those guys are killing it lately. The new up-and-comers like the Confusions and the Fancy Orbs. Those two are, are fantastic. Bro. Both of those dudes I really like. I'm clearly a popular guy. I mean, if you don't know who Fancy Orb is, he's the guy that does the game shows. This is Rust Death Swap. Our this is Rust Death Swap. It's a series I have called Rust Death Swap. Here's how it goes. All 20 creators will build a trap, and in one hour, everyone will swap places and be put into someone else's trap. It's your goal to escape the trap base and survive. Today is a very special podcast for a number of reasons one of them is it's the first sponsored mr flack podcast yeah thank you thank you very much sponsored by lg electronics it is also the first time i'm introducing a new segment called the 1v1 i'm going to have guests on and when i interview them i'm going to be 1v1ing them in their type of game of choice for example with fancy orb we're going to be doing a death swap death swap with other creators in the future i will take their speciality whether it be raiding rp pvp i'll take their thing and i'll verse them at it in a 1v1 segment as well as have the podcast itself so i hope you enjoy mr fancy hello, hello. How is it going, brother? I'm doing good, man. I'm excited, man. Dude. What's, how are you, bro? I'm so good. I'm so excited. Holy shit. Like, you have no idea. Let's fucking go. Wait, so we're not, like, recording yet? This is, like, the pre-call? Yeah, is this, this is, is yeah. This going? No, no, this is pre-call. Due to the fact that me and Fancy spoke for literally over three hours, I've had to format this podcast slightly differently. So I'm going to start off with a 1v1, which is going to be the first 20 minutes of this video. And then after 20 minutes, I'll start the podcast. A lot of people don't know this, but if you look at the bottom of this video, there's a small little slider that allows you to skip certain parts of the video that you don't want to watch. So instead of getting emotional in the comment section, use the little slider, watch the bits you want, ignore the parts you don't, and always stay sexy. Oh, you said you wanted to also do like a like a draw, like a 10-step draw type of thing? What, what yeah, yeah, about? so it's, it's called a Wild West 1v1. Okay. Um, it's, it's pretty much where we stand back to back, mm -hmm. we take three steps forward, and then we'll both turn at the same time, and whoever gets to kill first will win. Do you need a count? Nashing! That sounds epic. I love that so much. I was wondering also, we shouldn't make this like traditional death swap. I should do one and you should do one. We shouldn't do it together. Just so... Just oh, oh, so like I watch you and you watch me? Pretty much. We don't have to worry about like covering 20 content creators. And if, That's for true. example, you do get stuck, maybe I can pass you a hint or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, just to that. make it flow a little better, you know? Absolutely. Let's do it. Cabbage. Hello. How are you doing, Mr. Cabbage? Hey, Mr. Fancy Orb. For those who don't know, I have a little series on my channel called Death Swap, and it's where you try oh, to kill... Ooh. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Oh, oh, hold on. You got you got to talk like your intros. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, dude. I'll, I'll, go into, I'll go into full creator mode, like pretend like this is a video. Okay. Okay, good. All right, Mr. Flack. So this right here is my trap, and I have a series on my channel called Death Swap, where we try to kill each other without attacking each other. So that means we have to set up a trap, we swap places, and you have to defeat my trap. And if you escape it, you win. Uh, so I have a trap here. Are you ready to defeat it? <sighs> yes. And you have a trap for me as well, correct? I do. I spent a couple of days building it. I'm very oh, excited. Oh my goodness. Um, and it's, it's not really a trap. It's more of like a puzzle room with okay. death. So if you don't solve oh, the puzzle, no. you die. Oh no. <laughs> you, you don't need anything for this one. I give you a few things uh, for this as well. Okay. But let's um, get you in here and... Fancy, dude, I've got to warn you, hey? I'm playing on the new LG C1, which is the world's first gaming TV, so... Oh my god, wait, really? Wait, yeah. t t why don't you tell me a little bit more, Flack? <laughs> well, I mean, th this is what you need to know. It's an OLED TV, it's 4K, it's 120 hertz. Je um, Jesus. And it's, and it's NVIDIA G-Sync certified, baby. Dude, that's so good, man. It's like, it's like they're the sponsor of this video, dude. Wait, wait. They are the sponsor. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally playing at 120, no, I'm playing at 60, 67 FPS, because I've got everything on Ultra at 4K. Oh my God. Very nice, dude. Very nice. Very nice. But it's so clean, and this is like... Dude, it's a huge upgrade. But you know what, Flag? It's time to yeah. go into serious mode, because now you face death. So, in that oh. sign next to you, there's a thing that you need to play. Uh, go ahead and play it, and your trap starts now. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Um... <laughs> okay, let's. I'm, I was just. I need to be. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello, Mr. Flack, and welcome <laughs> to Fancy Orb's Hall of Pain. Did you really think I was gonna go easy on you today? Let's see if you can survive my traps. You got a bit of jigsaw action going there. I'm liking that. A little bit, a little bit. Okay, get to the end of this Hall of Pain to win this trap. Come on, is that it? Yep. 
It's a lot Greg. of things you gotta look out for, uh, Mr. Flack, so... <clears throat> I, okay, I know for a fact, I can see it, I can- <laughs> come on, I literally told you this. <laughs> yeah, you literally told me this trick placing a little something under the carpet. Potentially, we don't know that yet, um, That's but true. thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this way, I'm thinking... Smart man, smart man. Look at that. Okay... What are you uh, gonna do here? I, what, I, what are I, you I thinking? What, what's, what's your thought process here? Like something's a little sus about this, right? Yeah, no, I can see the cord. I'm just wondering to myself, <laughs> what is inside these things, or at least what's underneath these things? Fuck, I know you are dodgy. Um, yeah, something's a little sus about this, Flack. I, I don't know, man. You might want to be careful uh, on this one. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, let me just try and see if this does anything. No, that scares me. This here scares me. I don't know what's. They're just there. fireplaces. They're not gonna oh, hurt yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's the, the new type of fireplaces. Or or them in. there's just like a it's just like a perfect carpet that goes straight towards it. There's no wires or anything that you would see. You know, <laughs> nothing sus about that, right? I, I'll I'll give you a hint. Uh, turning them on or off, they don't do anything, but they are there for a reason. So they are there for a reason. I don't think there's been anything under here. Um, but I can try. <laughs> oh, you bitch! <laughs> I knew, you knew there was something. <laughs> Did you bump your head there? <laughs> oh, that's why they were there. I was wondering, like, what? What's the reason? Oh, you ran into the other one. <laughs> Black. <laughs> All right, that, that took some damage, but you know, you survived. How many subs is fancy as? This is very interesting because when I phoned you. I happen to ask you a certain question. That is true. You, you know the answer. <laughs> oh, smart. You got the correct answer. Oh. You're good. You got you got the correct answer. Congratulations. You're on to level two. Oh, this is... I love this. These questions yeah. are so cool. Yeah. What color is Fancy Bob's character? Yeah, uh, quite yeah, the true. obstacle in your way here. Okay, that's... Um... Oh, a little parkour. Oh, Mr. Flag. <laughs> oh. I'm so bad at these things. Oh, whoa. Come on, Flag. You got it. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It does it. Oh, my God. That what was almost color? terrible. It's Fantube's character. Now, no cheating. Oh, oh, you mean your like your logo? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. What do you think this is? <laughs> All right, just making sure. Just making sure. Oh, see, even your sus. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at that. That's the you got it wrong question. Yep, it. yep, there's a shotgun trap waiting for you. All right, so now, Flack, on this level, you're on the final level here. All right, there are two ways you can get to the end. You can run through, you know, the middle, but there's a lot of flame traps. So, I don't know, you might take damage. Or, at the top, there's a bear trap parkour that you have to jump around and try to get to the end. So, you got to pick your poison on this one. Which one will you go for? Um, and <laughs> both, both are dangerous, so... You say both, but the middle is even more dangerous than I mean, the, I mean, the, yeah, that's true. That's you never know what... By accident. You never know what's under those rugs. Oh my... <laughs> oh my god! Mr. Flack, you're, you're a big brain if this works. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> No. Oh, you died! No, no, no Flack! I thought you had it, actually. I had it for a second and the damage stopped. Oh, no. Oh, rip, Mr. Flack. Oh, dude, can, I, can I respawn just to finish? Yeah, it just yeah, yeah. Like, we'll uh, get you I back in here. Let's get you back uh, in here. You know so, what? you know, there, there, are, there are some options. You could try what you did before, but I don't know if that'll work. You could try to do the, the bear maze parkour. You know, there's a good shot at that if you're careful. Or you could just say fuck it and run through. You know, just run past the flames really quickly. You know, there's just a few options. It looks like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Flack is finessing the bear traps. <laughs> you little cheater, Mr. Flack. You like to do, you, you're outsmarting me here, actually. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Just one at the end, though. Yeah, that one's really close to the I edge. Sh I sh <laughs> Mr. Flag thinks outside the box, oh, and he gets past it. Yes! Alright, you're oh. at the final question, Mr. Flag. Congratulations. Final question. 
Yeah. Yes or no. Um, ooh, another tape message. I love these. Mm, I must say, Flack, <laughs> I am very impressed that you made it this far. Are you ready for the final question? I am. Good, good. <laughs> the final question is, are you subscribed to Fancy Horror? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Black, I'm gonna be very disappointed. <laughs> this is on the left. Are you ready for the final? I'm joking. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what do you think this is, bro? Come on, of course, over. I'm, of course I'm subscribed. Let's go. Shotgun traps. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. That's why I just like. Are you are free. You have survived Yay! the Hall of Fame. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You made it out uh, alive. Uh, well, kind of. Yeah. Took well, two tries, but. Oh, go. we're gonna cut that part. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll cut that. Yeah, we'll cut that. <laughs> Thank let's you. Go. All right. I'm ready for yours, oh. though. Right, we got one more. Dude, this is so cool. I'm having the best time. Hell yeah, dude. You know, I'm all about fun, Mr. Flack. I I'm... love. Oh 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 my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's a button. <laughs> There's a recorder, there's a chest. Do I just start? Um, yeah, but you have to obviously do pl play the yes. recorder first, if you don't mind. Yes, of course, of course. Just gotta look at my surroundings. Okay. All right, no items may leave this room. Be naked. Oh, no. Not a single thing. All right, here oh, we look, go. Look, look, look. I, I just said that because if you're wearing armor and stuff, but if you want to leave your outfit on, you totally may do it. Oh, let's uh, go. Okay. Just you know I gotta keep the fancy fit on. Oh, totally, bro. All right, here we go. Play first. Welcome, Mr. Fancy Orb. Escape room. I need you to leave this room Mr. Flag? Yeah. Is there a recorder here? Wait, did you, did, wait, hold on. Do I have my thing off? Unfortunately, the tape recorder didn't play back for Fancy when it was stuck on the wall, so I had to take it off the wall and give it to him, like, in his hand. I'll drop it on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Alright, here we go. Alright, let me finish yeah, I'll, I'll be able to hear it now. Yep. Alright, here we go. Alright, I'm going to play this recorder. Welcome, Mr. Fancy Orb, to Ooh. your escape room. Thank you. I need you to leave this room completely naked with zero items in your inventory or hotbar. Okay. When you are ready, jam that red button. Oh, God. Know that it activates the predetermined timer. Oh, man. If you don't finish this escape room in 600 seconds, super die. Oh, <laughs> super die. I know, Flack, you're very good with electricity, so I'm, uh... I don't know what you have for me today. I'm kind of kind of scared here. May God I be with you. Button? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, God. Oh no. First clue, hit the target. Touch grass. Alright, I need to find any targets. One full rotation equals 600 seconds. 600 seconds equals 10 minutes. CCTV. Oh, so I, this is where I can see my death screen. Okay. Alright, we got a nice camera. Um, Alright, so I need to find a target. Let's check these chests here. Make sure there's nothing that Flack left behind. Hit the target. Oh wait, do I just... Wait, chest. Oh, all right. We got a bow and arrow. Our first item. All right. So it says hit the target. Should I just no touch grass? <laughs> what does touch grass oh, mean? Touch... Oh, it means go outside. There's something else here. Oh, oh, there's the target. I see it. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh, I hit it once. Hit it twice. Hit it three times. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And open the door. All right. So I have to trade the hunting bow for a note, looks like. All right, a bit extra to be honest, but here's your first code, 7676. All right, I'm assuming it is for the door right next to it. And it is, let's go. Now there could be a trap, so we're gonna do the Mr. Flag strat and peek around and we are good. And we have a couple doors and a hatchet and another recorder, here we go. Hey there, Fancy. <laughs> hey, Flack. Uh, I was going to leave you a key for this door, but for some reason, I've lost it. Oh, like, come on, Flack. Oh, uh, my. specifically warned me, always keep a spare key under the carpet. But... Oh. You know what I mean? Oh. Anyway, bro. Here's an old grace hatchet, bro. Oh, my God. That's so cool. It's a spare key under the rug. So, I see a lot of rugs here. Got only limited... I have a limited hatchet, so I'm not sure... I, don't, I gotta make sure I hit the right one. Yeah, let's just go for the middle one. Ooh! What's under here? Alright, uh, I think I might need to get rid of this one too. A little secret bunker down here or something. What is this? This is gonna be close. 
Oh no. <laughs> My durability is almost low. I think I might be able to get it. Oh no, this is gonna be close. Oh, this is gonna be close. Come on, come on. Oh, let's go. I have like one hit left on this thing. All right, we're going down. Oh, I should be careful. Oh God. Okay. Um, all right, sweet. We got some wood and the key. Oh, trying to get up. There we go. All right, we go to the next door. We have the key and it opens. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, what does this say? A special clue for me and you. A juicy name for the hungry mainframe. Steak. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> what is this? Okay. I gotta read this again. A special clue from to me and you. Okay, that's probably the end. A juicy name for the hungry mainframe. Heart steak. Okay. Um. All right. So something about steak. So it has to be this barbecue. Nothing is in the barbecue though. Wait, what about this one? I mean, if you Artists need a clue. Need more one? Yeah, I'll let you know. Um, I don't see anything outside either. What's the mainframe? Mainframe, hold on. Oh, you wait, you're probably too young. Mainframe means computer. Oh, it means computer. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Thank you for the help. All right, steak. Boom. Two, one, seven, one. All right, perfect. That was, that was hard. <laughs> I might be too young to understand that one. Wait, I forgot the code already. <laughs> you gotta check your timer. Interesting. Yeah, it's quite a, um, quite a complex right. one. Yeah, I, oh, I forgot about the timer. I gotta start moving. All right, got this one. And oh! <laughs> These empty. Uh, uh. Okay, relax, bro. Oh, whew. you had me there for a second, Fleck. <laughs> I'm a little sus, dude. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, here's the notes. Getting close, A520. See, now that I know you're trying to prank me here, I gotta be careful. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Chill, man. <laughs> LOL, oh, nice. Okay. Oh, the Mr. Flag Hammer! Not bad, you pick up fast. In the box, you'll find the strongest item in the game, facts. The building hammer. The last clue for your freedom is 9876. All right. Oh, there's more in that next. Oh, is there? Yep. Yeah. Nine eight seven six. I don't see it. Pop it in the yeah, box. I'll send you screws. Yeah, yeah. There you go. It says at the bottom. Uh, let's hope you can pick up the first clue. Oh, first clue. Oh, oh. Hold on. Is there something under here? Nope. nope. Something behind this. Nope. All right, first clue. First clue. That was this one. Uh, maybe not that. For oh, first clue hit the tar. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nine eight seven six. Please don't be any traps. Oh my God. What's that laser? Oh my God. Why is there a laser? Uh, I have no choice but to go in. Oh God. Oh. A fireworks! Oh my god, that scared me, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> we did it, let's go! <laughs> we did it! Yay! Mr. Flack, that was an awesome trap. Oh, I love it, dude. Oh god, that's- You're so good with electricity, dude. Thank you. Dude, yeah, this is a good, uh, this is a good escape room. I really enjoyed that. I've never done an escape room. Oh, nice. Yay, I'm your first. Have me, have me spooked there for those shotgun traps. <laughs> That's good, dude. I'm, I'm so glad uh, you enjoyed yeah. it. Yay. Awesome, dude. Oh. Uh, do you want to do... Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. Bit of time, oh, huh? my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're going to let you kill me to death. Chicken what side, is under dude. here? Oh, yeah, I like... see. All these... How do you get these Tesla coils like that? Uh, I actually built it into the foundation, eh? See, you know every little trick. I remember <laughs> all the things you taught me uh, in uh, that one time where I had you help me with that stuff. Yeah, the little the little lesson. That was that was pretty sick. Okay, we are back. Yes. Cool. Right, so for this one, so usually there's another person that would shoot their gun into the air that would tell us to draw. So we can get like an item in Rust. So like when we hear it, like it'll, uh, that's like our signal to draw. Do you kind of like get what I'm saying? Oh yeah, totally, totally. I can quickly make a little circuit if you want. Yeah, yeah. It, will that take a long time? Uh, no, no, no. It'll, it'll be very okay, quick. Let's do it. Um, so the rules of the Wild West 1v1 yes. is, so we'll start back to back. Okay, um, like over here? Yep. 
Yep. Uh, so just face uh, like yeah, you're back to mine. We'll take three steps forward. One, two, three. And then as soon as like the firework pops up in the air, yeah. we'll, sh- we'll turn around and shoot. And the, the rule is you can't use WASD. You can only crouch or jump. Uh, so there's oh. no movement. It's just you, you stand still and you shoot. Okay. Whatever strategy you want to use, but you have six bullets, no reloading, and first person to kill the other person wins. So what we'll do is this, right? Check this out. This is actually going to be quite sick. Um, that, and then we'll do these, and then we will do this. I'm putting a root combiner down over here. Okay. Putting an igniter down over here. I'm going to wire the root combiner into the thing. When we stand on the pad, it'll just... That's smart. That's that's awesome. Um, and, and then let me just test if it works quick. Yep. Yeah. It does. Oh my dude, you're so good at electricity. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, okay. So, yep. As soon as you hear the launch, I right, return. Okay. So we'll, we'll we'll stand here. We'll say go. We'll walk to our pad, and then we'll wait for the shoo. Yeah. 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 Okay. Then, wait for the shoo. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Are we, are we, wait, wait. Are we doing best two or three or just one and done? Best out of three. Okay. Here we go. Uh, take three steps forward. Oh my oh! god! Oh my god! I oh got it! God. I got it! Holy shit, dude, I'm so low. Oh my god. How much did I get you to? 21. All right. And heavily That's bleeding. One. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude, you got my ass. Holy shit. <gasps> All right. So, Flack, you got the first round. How are you feeling after that? Uh, uh, dude, I... I... <laughs> oh, I... I'm disappointed, man. Dude. I, I, I'm i disappointed myself, man. I choked. I, I thought you were going to be closer, but you know that you, you got the first battle. That's fair. That's fair. Dude, I'm, I'm running on so much Red Bull right now, and I've got like... This... <laughs> Yo, you're juiced on the Red Bull. That's why you got it. A good Red Bull for like the hype, and then I've got something called Neurovance for like the focus. Dude, I'm like fucking a hard wide. Oh my wide. gosh. <laughs> Alright, that was good. That was good. That was good. Uh, Alright, so we got best two or three. If you win this one, it means you've, you've got me. For this time, Flack, you're dead. You're not uh, going to survive this one. Oh, uh, really? Really? Yeah. Oh, well, Fuck you, bro. Fuck you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck you, no, Mr. Fuck Flag. you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, three steps forward. Go. No! Yes! What? Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, the jumping gets me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god, bro. You You got it. I I just realized something. It's it's the LGC1. Oh, that's true. That's true. It has to be it. It's the LGC1, bro. (laughs) You you got me. Oh my GG to you, Dude, this was so fun. Oh my god, I love that. I know, right? Oh, dude. It gets you going, man. The podcast. Oh, dude, it does. I gotta ask you, though, dude. Out of all the little game shows and, and types of things that you do, what is mm-hmm. like your your favorite favorite thing to do? Is it death swap or like what do you see? Th- there's there's a lot of things I've done. In fact, you've actually been a part of a few of them. Like you've been I a have. part of the I've, Odd Been Out series. Do you remember that? I a long did. time ago. That was that was a year ago. Um, but yeah, no. Like I, I see all these series as my children. Like death swap, Odd Men Out, Random Farming. Um, but like I would say my favorite one has been uh, death swap. There 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 have been a a good, few good moments in there uh, but unfortunately the series is over uh the last one that we did that was like probably like the last one i was gonna do just really? because i'm on to newer and better things um yeah because like there's a new game mode I, i'm coming out with uh called natural disasters and i just Ooh. actually opened a server uh for that where like tornadoes meteor strikes floods happen like it's a, a it's a server where natural disasters happen and so that's like my main focus that's what my next few videos will be Dude, on i love that so much lately. mm-hmm Daddy. Like my slogan in Rust is like I like to uh, I, I like to make Rust fun, and so I'm here to make Rust fun. So I, I like to do little fun things um, and create things in Rust. I've interviewed like six Rust YouTubers so far. Yes, and f- five of them have mentioned Fancy Open Confusion like like they're the That's holy crazy. grail. Mm-hmm. I, every I mean talking like Blueprint, who's the biggest one of the biggest in the world. Uh, talking right. Mimeo, we're talking. William. I know, dude. Like, I'm so humble. Like, dude, this is like... And you know what it is? Bro? You... They all do mm-hmm. one thing. They all do one type of content. They do... It, 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 it's not one thing, but they all do similar content. They play Rust for Rust. 
and you've taken this world of rust and you've turned it into like a game show and you've done Absolutely. fun creative things and like no, no one else does what you do see like the thing is a lot of people do rust movies now um i'm, I'm sure you've you're well aware like uh, mm -hmm. a lot of the youtubers think you know you have to do movies to to do good in rust and yeah, you have to the make whole them, story like, an hour and long. a plot line and yeah a, like, revenge and, yeah, all that so but they're all the uh, same though of, yeah so like that's what i you know i i try to step in and i try to do something new because um you know if if anyone's here is trying to start a channel um and you know you're you're a smaller YouTuber. Uh, you know, a lot of people think you have to do a movie to you know be successful, but that's not the case. And as you've seen with uh, lots of other uh, YouTubers, like you mentioned, Confusion and Mimi, like these guys don't do Rust movies, and they're absolutely killing the game. Mm. Um, so you know, you just add your creativity, and if people like see it, you know, they're gonna notice it. You know, I love that so so much, dude. I'm thank you. Man. You are a, an absolute machine. I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it, man. It means a lot hearing it from you because I remember when I had like one to two K subs. Like that's I you I think you first met me around there a long time ago. We did a video called uh, the Rust uh, YouTube Rewind. Do you remember that? I don't know if you do, but I, you sent me an audio clip. Do you remember that was like in 2018? Yes, I do remember that. It was is where like I grabbed the YouTube Rewind, yeah. I put people's logos over it, and I had some people send me audio clips, and a lot of people I like that I'm that. friends with now like. Like Mimio sent me an audio clip. You sent me an audio clip. Uh, even like the big guys, like Blueprint, Well, and Stevie. These guys all sent me. And we oh, were dude. all small at the time. Like these guys were all under like 500k, I think. And it's just so crazy to see where everyone is now. And like that's just like I, I told Mimi about that in a death swap that we did, and he completely forgot um, that he did that. And he's like, "Wait, that was you?" And so. I don't know if that's like a huge throwback to you, Flack. dude. Uh, you, are you, you helped me when I was at 2K subs, bro. I will never forget that. I will never <laughs> forget those people who helped me. But dude, isn't that so special though? Like the Rust community. Like it doesn't matter if we're big or small, or like we just open up dude, to each other. I... Yeah, as toxic as the community is, like I mean, let's be honest. Like this is this game is brutally toxic. Some of the things people the say and, absolute and do. Worst. Yeah. But like on Twitter and like uh, and like the communities that people create and like the YouTubers, the streamers, like we're actually like really we come together and it really shows during like the Rust charity moments when oh. we do charitable Rust. Like that, those are crazy moments. Like I don't, I can't remember any like game like that has a community like that that actually like comes together for like those types of things. Totally, totally, totally. And I just I I love it, dude. I love being a part of that that community. I love the fact that very few Rust YouTubers have an ego. I love the fact that nobody like. Uh, downs each other because of the, the size of their channel or you know it's just it's right. it's 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 nice it's supportive and you, you you don't have to worry about approaching a big creator and saying hey let's collab or uh, would you like to come join my game show they'll just do it absolutely absolutely dude. so um yeah that's that's really special yeah there, there's a lot of humble like youtubers like a lot of these guys are big people you probably never would have thought they would um they would help you out but you know a lot of these guys just want to make something fun happen you know are we are we gonna be having our interview in game? We we can do that. I was, Dude, I was that, gonna see what you wanted to do, but I can do this in sick. Discord or in game. No, no, let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's um, do it. Oh, thank you, man. I'm <laughs> yeah. hungry. Yeah, we might as well, you know. Oh, what was this? Uh, oh, thank you. You know, you, you gotta you gotta have a drink. You know, a drink I got something me. for you. Oh yeah. Why don't you Why don't you get a little shade? You're looking oh, a little hot there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yes. Let me let me let me get you something as well to make you a little bit more comfortable. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> it's attacking you! I know! That, that did not work! <laughs> yeah. Oh Here, gosh, okay, let, me, let me get up. I know, dude, I love this so much. Let me get <laughs> look, up. Look, we're role playing it out right now. <laughs> oh, Mr. Fancy, thank you so much for joining me. Um, Black, I appreciate you inviting me, man. I. I'm not sure why you invited me out of all the people you could have reached out to, but dude, I'm so glad I'm oh, here and I'm excited. Come on, dude. You are like literally a global superstar in the world of Rust right now. Everyone's talking about you. And uh, if you don't know who Fancy is, stop immediately. Click on the <laughs> link in the description. Go watch Fancy. Go, oh, go. I'm back, man. You get the, I got the biggest smile on my face. <laughs> you, you don't know how much this means to me, man. No, I, I looked up to you like like a long time ago when I was smaller. <laughs> I was like, dude, Flax so cool. Like he, he helped me in my old videos. And and, and now you like, and now you like double my size and growing rapidly. I, it's insane. Well, let's like, not forget one thing. You are still the father of Rust. All right, everyone looks up to you as the father, and like you were still my my dad. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I think I'm everyone's dad because I'm an old fuck. <laughs> uh, Fancy, I gotta ask yeah. you, dude. How old are you? 
I am 22 years old. A lot of people actually think wow. I'm like a lot younger. A lot of people think I'm like 16, 17. I do pitch up my voice uh, in my videos a lot. And, you know, a lot of people might think that's why I sound young. But I am 22. I'm wrapping up college. And yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get old, man. I, a lot of people are calling me boomer. I don't, I don't know what's, what's up with them. I'm not a boomer. But I've noticed like the biggest rest YouTubers in the world, um, Blueprint, uh, Spoon Kid, yeah, William, they're, all they're, they're 18, 19. Um, like, that is nuts, dude. Do you think that, that there's like an age limit on content creation? Or, or I think you... the earlier you start, uh, you'll start to learn more because YouTube definitely takes time. Same with streaming, same with any other content you do. Oh God, voice crack, Jesus! Uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll you might be that. hearing some of those. Yeah, cut that, cut yeah. that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it, it takes time to develop channels, and so I think uh, they, those guys all started a lot earlier. Uh, they figured it out, and you know, it does take time. I think they, they were doing it for years before, like, they really start to blow up and got to their position. So I think the earlier you do start, it does play a factor. But anyone could start at any time. And they could blow up. Um, yeah, I started like six years ago, but I didn't see a real success until like a year and a half ago. So um, I'd say like a wow. year and a half is when I started taking it really seriously. So wait, hold um, on. But you started six years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I actually did a lot. All of my videos are actually still public. Um, you can see I had a I had a really bad gaming laptop, and I was I started with CS:GO, and oh my god, they're so cringy. They're still up, so people know where I came from. Oh and god, I want to watch them. Are they, are they terrible? Is the voice bad? Oh, um, oh, it's horrible. Like this is like young fancy orb. This is like sixteen year old uh, yeah, fancy orb. Yeah, six or seven years ago, man. Uh, they're oh, they're wow. bad videos. But like people got to know where you came from. And so I keep them up and I tell them like, this is how my start was. It yeah. wasn't good. It was pretty ugly. And I didn't, I didn't get views. Yeah, but at the time I thought they were bangers, you know, <laughs> um, but looking back at it now, they're not. And this is the same thing I'll do in two years. The videos I'm making now, I'll be like, oh my God, these are so shit. Cause eventually your content will evolve and it'll grow. So, um, and there's a lot of learning that you have to do uh, a lot of research. Um, I definitely recommend, you know, listening to podcasts, like watching YouTube videos about um, what you can do in your videos to, you know, grow your audience. Um, but once you learn it and you get it down, uh, it's it's very simple. Um, a lot of people do think it's it's challenging at first, and which it is because mm. you don't know what you're doing. But um, once you learn it and take the time, uh, you can easily master it. And that's what a lot of people are doing nowadays. Do you feel that any person can become as successful as you? Any person? Uh, oh, absolutely. Yes. Anyone, like, it, as long as you find your niche and you know what you're doing, uh, yeah, anyone can just blow past me. And we were seeing channels nowadays on YouTube, uh, like, not specifically Rust, but like Minecraft or like mm -hmm. any other gaming, uh, you know, content creators. Uh, they're, they're getting like hundreds of thousands a day. Like, I don't know if you saw Ryan Trahan. He just did a series, a big series where he survived on a penny for 30 days. And he went up like, um, I'd say like, Take, uh, maybe five six million subscribers in one month Good it's crazy God. like yeah it's crazy like Oof. some of these channel growths and yeah absolutely anyone can master it nowadays like it, it, it's good it, it's crazy um fancy earlier at some stage in our conversation i can't remember when but sometime in the in the last hour you mentioned something about studying up about um youtube learning tutorials learning algorithms mm -hmm. do you think that that a lot of your success is attributed to what you've learned and you know things that you've discovered about the way youtube works internally i'd say 100 percent um because a lot of the times uh, in like my last uploads uh, i wouldn't you know do the research and I, I didn't even know like to research i would just upload a video i would think it'd do good and you know it wouldn't so what me and uh, confusion did uh, you mentioned him earlier i know confusion is watching this hello confusion <laughs> uh, we we really started together uh we learned the algorithm together we sent each other everything like we saw like if there's a video we saw about the uh algorithm you know we'd send that to each other yes. and we we really learned together we, sh we would screen share analytics and we would point out what went wrong in our video what went good and uh, so i really suggest if you are a creator out there um i really suggest finding a partner or a group and learn together and share your stuff together um there's a few creators i'm kind of like mentoring right now and looking over um and they're in a like they're doing the exact same thing that me and confusion did uh they're in their own discord they're sharing things 
and uh it's and they're actually starting to see success and i'm just giving them my tips this is what you need to do like take that part out of your video mm. and they actually help me as well because they're learning and i'm like hey this is my video can you tell me if this is cringy or not or if this is a good edit and so it's all about like learning together and so i would say that's like a huge thing you know learn on your own but you know share the things that you find with other creators your size um, I, because yeah i love that so much dude i i can't stand it when when people treat you <laughs> when people treat <laughs> you <laughs> this is so strange <laughs> that i can't see your face um it's it, it, sorry i'm <laughs> distracting my bad my bad i'll stop it's totally fine dude i'm just gonna i'm gonna crack open a, a red bull which is delicious refreshing and super energetic this i guess nice, nice. I'm, I'm jealous you, you got the, are you still sponsored by them uh, no, i no i'm not sponsored by them i got this thing called uh forb which is friend of red bull so oh, okay. yeah, no official contracts, no official requirements, but you do occasionally do paid gigs with them and they send you unlimited free, free Red Bull. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the nice That's thing is, crazy. is that because you're a friend of Red Bull and you're not a sponsored athlete, you don't have to drink Red Bull. So like if I go to a monster event or something, they don't stop me from doing that. I can do whatever I want to. Okay. Um, That's nice. Got some freedom. Yeah. And then, you know, little paid gigs here and there, that type of thing. But you know, but that's not about me. This is about you. Mr. Fancy, <laughs> yes. um, you have, you've just told me now the greatest advice ever for up and coming creators is to grow with people, learn with people, um, help each other along. And dude, I played that one charity rust event with you and confusion. Oh my dude, yeah. you, you're, you guys are, are you guys in real life friends? Uh, no, we actually have never met IRL. I have no idea what he looks like. I think he might know what I look like, but, um, yeah, we've never met each other. We're across the country. So um i one day we might you know we're, we're very close friends like we're always in discord like, you you guys have games. this we, genuine rapport like as in you you guys uh to me look like lifelong friends the, the, the way that you sign i know right oh god you we, guys we actually just, just met last year like it, it it's no. literally just been over a year and you know we just clicked it off like that and you know we're, we're always in discord talk i'd say we'd probably talk about it every day um, either in calls or just messaging messaging each other. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it is a good relationship to have, like with someone. Like if you can grow with someone and you both see success, it's it's awesome. I love that so much, and I, I like the fact that both you and Confusion are seeing equal amounts of success. I, I can't imagine there'd be for sure animosity between you guys because you both seem like genuine nice guys. But uh, you growing through your game game show style. Uh, interesting things confusion is growing through just the most incredible edits i've ever seen in my entire life oh my god he's absolutely he's a fucking juiced up machine, on the edits bro Good dude god. he is doing something that no one else is doing <laughs> oh, yeah, and no, that's, no. That's, that's, it's great like we're both covering our own niches i know i love that I, the, the, the fact that you aren't even competing for the same viewers uh that right. you guys both offer two completely unique products I, I just i love you guys so much i just i that's literally yeah. why I keep on bringing your names up in every podcast I can. I need as many people dude, I, to dude, see I you as possible, it, dude. No, but that's dude, the thing. When I was watching those podcasts, like I'd be like, "Oh my god, he mentioned my, my <laughs> name. Dude, this is so awesome! Like no, we but, made it." <laughs> but that's the thing, though. I'm not. I'm not actively mentally trying to mention you and like Mimio and Blueprint. They. They. When I asked them who is your favorite Russ YouTuber, they just came up with your name there was no there was no egging oh, them man. on no encouraging them it's just it shows you the, the product that you make is just so damn good that you are currently you and confusion are currently people's favorites like i mean i don't mean to oh, dick ride a 22 that... year old but it, it's it's <laughs> you know, it's the it's the truth oh uh, dude uh dude you're putting a huge smile on my face and i'm, I'm so glad to hear that that honestly makes me so happy i appreciate it so much oh, gosh do you share your real name at all would you be willing to uh, i i have not said my real name uh you know I think eventually I'll get to a point where I do uh, open up more and like I, I'll do like a face reveal. Okay. Uh, but I haven't did I haven't done anything yet. Um, I think when I start streaming, because uh, I have not streamed yet, uh, I will start doing like more personal things. And I like, gotta show ask you though, more. before you show your face, you gotta show your the first face reveal has to be on the Mr. Black podcast. You know, I, if if you're willing to take me back, oh no, hundred percent, we, we can 100%. do something. Because I, I, I was little part two. I was thinking about at the end of the series when I'm done interviewing all the people that I want to in terms of Rust. I was thinking about having a flak podcast death swap with you as like, oh the host. Oh my goodness! So Dude, like that would be so cool. Or, or or like a thing where you gather up all the creators that you have interviewed into one podcast, like one big podcast that we all talk. Like that would be so cool. I was thinking That's about that, but it kind of be a mess. Um, 
Because <laughs> I know that, 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 that could be true. It, but, but it will also be quite entertaining to watch. I mean, may, maybe something like this where we could all like sit in game and just maybe like have a, an in game barbecue. Because uh, then we yeah, can. Yeah, I, I you know? honestly don't think it would be a mess because that's, you know, everyone's mature, you know, all these guys. We are all creators, understand the know? goal. Yeah, we've all been involved yeah, we, in these we, things. Yeah, we know how content goes. So that, that'd be a cool idea. I would love to do that. I think I'll do that. It's like a, like a season one too. finale, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, oh, that's, that's, yeah, you got a lot of ideas here. Oh, no, like, dude. I'm not you. I'm not you. I got no. I gotta ask you, dude. You, um, you said you're studying. Yes. Why? So here's the thing, man. So I, you know, I finished up high school and my parents were like, you need to go to college. And at the time I was trying to make YouTube a thing. Uh, it's a very similar story to Spoon Kid. I remember uh, he shared that, you know, he was in school uh, and he was in high school. He, mm. he was trying to make YouTube a thing. Uh, so he didn't have to go to college. Uh, luckily for him, it worked out. For me, it didn't. So I had to go to school um, and I wanted to drop out freshman year because I was really like, dude, fuck this shit. Like, Oh wait, am I allowed to swear on here? Oh, yeah, go crazy, dude! Fuck it. Oh, okay, okay. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I won't go. I won't go crazy. But yeah, but yeah. So uh, I was like, dude, fuck school. Like, I don't want to do this. Like, I was stressing out. Like, I'm bad at studying, um, and my parents wouldn't let me drop out. Um, granted, they were paying for my college, but uh, I did say like, you know, this is not what I want to do. Mm. And so, but they still made me do it. And I was like, you know, what? I'll just stick through it because uh, my my close friends and families. Uh, we're, we're pretty much saying like you got you got to go to college you got to get your degree get a good corporate nine to five job Ugh. and I, I yeah in my mind I was like dude I'm not doing that Fuck so that shit, that's man. why like I really needed to learn something on uh, YouTube or TikTok or Twitch whatever platform I was gonna go on and you know eventually it worked out I started seeing success yeah. and um, the rest is history and so yeah yeah and then like right now I'm doing YouTube full time while trying to uh, you know, while trying to do school full time, um, but I have one more semester and I should be finishing soon. And then I'll be like going, I'll go real ham onto YouTube once school is over. Like I'll be able to stream more, maybe do the TikTok uh, for fans Europe because I know uh, that's a good thing to do. Mm. Do TikTok under your brand name just to get uh, TikTok viewers. Uh, some people are making second channels for clips on YouTube. Yeah, the so shorts I wanna, like, and really, such, yeah. yeah, yeah. I really want to expand because uh, I'm really trying to create like a huge brand out of this i eventually want to hire employees and like editors and you know marketers like i, I really want to create an empire so but yeah i'm in school now and once this is this chapter is up i'll be moving on to bigger and better things what did you study i studied uh marketing specifically like business marketing okay um so kind of like what i'm doing now like youtube marketing stuff like that okay do you, do you feel like your studies have helped you in your youtube quest <laughs> absolutely not uh, i not. feel like i could have yeah not i feel like <laughs> i could have easily studied youtube like everything i learned was not from my my school classes it was all online um or through like videos or podcasts and then just like my own editing um so i feel like you know it, it, i'll have a degree which i'm not complaining like i'm very grateful for that uh but you know i i, I do plan on doing youtube full time i don't want to get like a corporate job or anything i feel like that's lame like i'm i'm my own boss you know yeah no the, th the thing is guys uh, that are watching this it uh, we don't want to have 95s but also don't expect to just like you know shove college you know under the table and say i'm gonna make it as a rust youtuber like try and always have a backup plan uh, absolutely uh, fancy's got that's himself what, a degree um he's not dropping mm -hmm. out completely so if his channel does crash for example um he still can go work, you know, he's exactly. got a backup plan, but he also doesn't want to be forced into a 95 position, which I also don't because I can't fucking stand any form of boss or scheduling or anything. Yeah, um, absolutely not. But I think I think that is so great that you're going to have that full blown degree. You're going to have this empire. And I mean, your your work um, etiquette is just impeccable. You just push and push your co your content comes out very consistently. Uh, it, 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 there's no there's no big pauses in your content you just keep on making stuff you keep on planning things and i respect yeah, you for that so much i appreciate it man i appreciate it thank you so much uh so you said you started content at 16 15 16 with csgo yes, content that's correct yes um, oh god <laughs> It's always nice, like Spoon Kid as well didn't hide any of his early videos when his voice was still smaller and he had no confidence in like, right. hey, his voice was like whoa. a lot different. Like I was like, hi, this is not how hi, he talks. hi, hi, Spooners. 
Are you getting a good? And now he's like, it, "What's up, Spooners?" Yeah, <laughs> now he's yeah. like, well, I, I love the fact that like it doesn't matter which creator you go to. You can do it with Winter. You can do it with Blueprint. You can do it with Spoon. You can do it with yours. You just go back right. a couple of years and you can actually see them evolving, growing. Um, you know, right. the graphics yeah. get nicer, the mics get better, the confidence right. starts growing. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely to see dude, how people evolve. And I don't know about you, but yeah. I remember the first time I started recording Rust. I was so fucking nervous. I didn't realize how hard it was to talk. Dude, right. Like, when oh I started God. content, I was like, dude, what do I say? Like, wh yeah, what's it, supposed uh, to happen? And, oh, my God. Uh, uh, did your voice come out sounding fake? Like, you were planning it. Like, you yeah, were, yeah, yeah. Like, I was I was really trying t way too oh, much. Dude. And, like, once, once you learn overall, it comes a little bit more natural. But, no, I was, like, really awkward. And I think that's what everyone has to go through. Like, if it's your first stream, if it's your first video, yeah. you're, you're always going to be awkward. And you know, that, that's why I keep mine up so I can teach people. Like, this is this is how it was. This is bad. And, you know, you you learn over time and you evolve. What do you actually mm -hmm. play on? What's your what's your PC like? Uh, Well, I have a... I, I'm actually not a huge PC guy. So, like, my friend helped me build this. I have no idea how to build computers. Uh, but oh, I wow. believe it's a 2070. Uh, I have three monitors i had like a wide screen and then uh one above and then one to the side um but yeah i i'm, I'm doing pretty good i got a pretty good so I, I built this in 2020 so whatever the best like specs were for that time that's what i uh that's what i got okay so 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 that's your setup but you said you when you started you're playing on a horrible little gaming laptop who who got the, oh my. the upgrade or did you just sort of like save up for it type of thing so i actually saved up for it um i had a asus uh gaming laptop uh, it, it was nothing crazy, you know, it was just like a small storage one. It, you know, I, at first I just wanted to play video games and, mm. you know, I was playing CSGO and Rust. And I was like, you know what? I, I do have like a laptop now because at first I was a console gamer. I was oh, like, okay. I do have a laptop now. Uh, maybe I can, you know, make some videos. And so that's what I did. Mm. Um, but now that I got an actual PC and actual equipment, I got a good microphone, headset. Um, yeah, I can do a lot more stuff now. What is what is Fancy Orb in real life like? What does he like to yes. do when he's not creating the best Rust content in the world? What do you what do you do? Like, what's your vibe? I yes. know you said you study. I know you mm -hmm. said you so, spend a lot of time making content. Yes. So uh, I am, you know, I'm 22 years old. You know, I'm finishing mm -hmm. up college now. Uh, for the past past four years, um, you know, college was like the main priority, making sure I pass my classes because I'm not good with school. So I will admit there was a lot of, like uh, like these past few years. Uh, have been like content school and that's all the time I had um, obviously like, I would have time for friends and and stuff like that uh, mm. I also like to play sports um, I like to play basketball that's like oh, wow. my main thing um, are you tall so, like, any... yes I am tall I'm 6'2 Jesus Christ <laughs> yeah. Mary, yeah, but, Mary and Moses and such wow I'll play any sport really I like to uh, I might not be good at it but you know I'm I like you enjoy to it yeah. play anything I can yes um, but then, yeah, uh, just content is the main focus right now. Um, I used to have a job. I used to work a grocery store job uh, before I did like YouTube full time. And that was very miserable. Uh, yeah, I was just working as a cashier. I have to say, uh, I, have to, I have to quickly interrupt you. Shout out to Tofa, who is working at a grocery store. You can it's do anything you want, bro. Look, Fancy Orb 2 was a grocery guy. And... Um, Look at that degree, YouTube success. Sorry to interrupt, bro, but you can go ahead. You're, you're good, man. Uh, so that, that was what I was doing before content. Uh, it was it was tough. You know, I was in the trenches pushing those carts back into the store. Um, and then, <laughs> in the yeah. trenches. So good the, God, you're making it sound yeah, like it, fucking D-Day on Normandy, bro. Dude, <laughs> I was out there in the rain, the blazing sun, whatever weather you can imagine, the snow. It, it was rough, man. I uh, did not enjoy it one bit. But, you, you know, poor first world privileged motherfucker. You, you, <laughs> yeah, oh my God. you worked it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's 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 a little story about me. I love that so much. Tommy, do you have brothers and sisters? I do have one younger brother. And do you stay at home with folks, or are you own apartment, or are you living at campus? Maybe. So I'm actually in and out. Like uh, every year is like a different living situation. Okay. I actually just moved out of uh, an apartment, uh, and I'm trying to look for a new place right now. So I'm just with my uh, mother right now, uh, and my brother. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm just chilling at home, uh, looking for a new place. Um, so if anyone needs the roommates, you know, just <laughs> message me on Discord. Uh, but, what what yeah. state are you from? I am from North Carolina. North Carolina? Where the fuck yeah. is that on the map, dude? I don't even know. Oops. Uh, it's on the east side of the U.S. Okay. East, east Coast. 
uh, North yeah, Carolina. Speaking of my brother, I, I'm trying to get him into Rust, but I, I did try to get him into Rust, but mm -hmm. he hates like he, he doesn't enjoy Rust at all, man. Rust is terrible. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you know, you know how it's only for specific people. Like I don't think I've actually met a single IRL friend who has Rust and like or, or who has plays. You know, one hundred percent. I mean, I, I tried to play. I tried to get my wife into it. She couldn't stand it. Um, I got yeah, my daughter to play it. She likes to build, but she doesn't like anything else. So she wants a private server just to like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> make that's a house. Um, and I just, so that's the thing. Like, there's just so much things to, like learn in Rust. Like, it's a huge learning curve, and you really have to spend at least like fifty to a hundred hours to like really get everything. Like, how to build. Like, about TCs. You know, the locks that you make sure not to make a key when you're making a key lock. You know, there's so many little things that you have to learn. Yeah, bu and it's, it, building it's really electricity, farming, uh, oh, PvP, that's a whole new topic. exploration. Like, like there's, there's so many subcategories. I was actually thinking, dude, I, w I wanted to do like an ultimate, ultimate tutorial on Rust because. You know, Rust doesn't have a tutorial, right? And then yeah, I started I, mapping out this video and I realized that Rust is a lot more complicated than even Rust YouTubers know. Like, when you try and categorize it, imagine just trying to make a tutorial on everything about Rust. It would be uh, hours long. Like, like, hours like, like hours. it would be like an, a three hour video. We're talking about like, farming oh genetics, see, gambling. Oh my God. Uh, uh, just crafting. I don't even know everything about electricity or farming. Like, that's, those are two completely separate topics. Like, there's so much, like, the, the letters that you have to pair up with the farming. Like, I have oh, no idea how to do that. Yeah. 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 Genes and stuff like that. When, the, when they add that in Rust, like, I have no idea how long that's even been in the game. And then electricity, there's just so many things. Like, oh, there's God. geniuses out there in electricity. And I'm looking at one right now. Oh, um, funny. Like, I, <laughs> funny. I, I know only, like, basic things. Like, I know how to, you know, hook up door switches and, and lights. But the crazy stuff, like, and the timing of things, like, I don't know. I, I don't know how to do that. But, like, there's so many things to learn in Rust. I saw a guy that made a working version of Pong. Do you know the first video game Pong? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, yes. It's like there's two so sticks amazing. and then they bounce the ball. And they made it with no light. Way. No, I'm not even joking. I'll send you the video. Oh. They, ma they made it work. And, and you had three bu uh, two buttons on the on the ground, like the pressure pads. Mm -hmm. uh, so you would literally stand on it. And, and then if you stood on it, it made the stick move left. And then if you stood on the other button, oh, it made this. Oh, my god! And, and you could bounce the ball backwards and forwards. And he made it. I, I don't know how, but he did. Dude, um, yeah, like there are some crazy things that bro, so so much time. You can build an make... actual computer because it's got logic gates and logic gates are, it emulates real computers. So I don't know how they really? do it. Really? Yeah, they, I know they, people you, can do that in Minecraft, like Redstone, but I did not know you could do that you, in you Rust. You can actually do that in Rust, where, where it it can calculate things, it can process, and I don't know how. Because my brain won't yeah, allow me there, to... <laughs> there are geniuses in this, in this well, game. Like people who know how to build and electricity. Like, I know you did a lot of building videos in the past. I did. Uh, like, of, like, under undercover vaults or, like, yeah. secret bunkers and stuff. Like, th there's just so many cool things that you find out in Rust. And, like, there's so many cool and creative people that, like, kind of show you those type of things. Someone actually made me for a death swap that I did. Someone made me like an automatic uh, target practice arena where you would shoot the target. And if you if you shot it down, it would open up the door and the green light would go to red. And dude, it was crazy electricity. And I just know there's so many geniuses out there like that. Uh, you probably don't spend like more than 10 hours per video editing, do you? Oh, oh, I, I absolutely spend a lot more do you? than 10 hours. Oh, yeah. What, like, what, um, what, what would you say an average edit for you is? Would, would you like to see the timeline of like uh, one of my recent videos? I can actually show you. Please share it. I'll, I'll show let me, you. Let me pull up. Do you, wait, do you edit on Sony Vegas? Um, I edit on Premiere Pro, but they look the same-ish. Yeah, uh, there's a big battle between Premiere and Sony Vegas. But yeah, I'm, I'm loading it up. I'll show you like every little thing that goes into these and like uh, I do sound effects, uh, transitions, uh, video edit, zooms, like there's there's a bunch of crazy stuff and also I have to do cinematics so that's mm. a whole nother, uh, you, I mean you know cinematics so oh, like yeah. that's a whole new topic. This is my latest video so although it's 20 minutes, Jesus. Oh my, a laggy. although there's 20 minutes you got like this is a song, this is a sound effect, this is another sound effect, there's transition here and like just throughout this whole video um just lots of different like in the subtitles and yeah so th this is like all the, the work that i put in my videos it, it, this probably i would say it took i'd say 20 hours maybe 
pushing it to 30 but there's there's a lot that went into this video the, the reason why and, and that's very impressive by the way that's I can, I can see how much work that is uh Thank viewers you. the reason why i brought this up and i asked fancy about the 10 hour mark is that um people don't realize a lot of a lot of creators make videos and they cut 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 add a song and they upload other people mm -hmm. fine tune i i am one of the people that fine tune and i edit like disgusting amounts in a video and if you start spending more than 10 hours on a video when you're on the 20 30 40 hour mark the video becomes so stale to your eyes and mm -hmm. you you look at the video that you've made and it starts looking like shit and you start doubting how good it is and you can't tell because you've been watching the same footage on repeat for 10 20 hours yes um, that's that's very relatable do you ever like step do you have to do you have to force yourself to step away sometimes so you can like sort of palette cleanse and just refresh your eyes and then come back oh yeah i'd take tons of breaks during my recordings um, and then I also have people who also watch it because when you're creating the video, you know, you'll, you'll think, oh, like, this is awesome. Um, but you, you, that's because you're creating the video and you don't see everything the viewer sees. Uh, so I also have a couple of people who I'll show like a certain segment to and I'll be like, hey, like, what do you think about this? Yeah. And I then need they, your brutally honest opinion. Honest like feedback. Someone, yeah. I love that. And now th that's actually so true because you mentioned earlier about that group and that support group to have th those mates where you can send them a clip, you can send confusion a piece and you can say, what do you think? And confusion with his fresh eyes can look at it and be like, that doesn't work. And you Absolutely. Like and we show each other all the time. And dude, then we also I show each other thumbnails like, oh, you got to change this or do this. Mm. Um, but yeah, like, uh, and the, there's been times like some of my, uh, like uh, my moderator, uh, his name is Brawlo. Uh, I showed him this one video and I thought it was insane. Like I thought I did so good. And uh, he he watched the video. We, we do this thing called the Brawlo breakdown because that's his name. And he gives me a breakdown of the video. Okay. And, uh, and we, we live stream this in the Discord because I let other viewers like tell me like, any uh any inputs or suggestions or things they didn't like or things they did like and he he gave me this breakdown and he absolutely shit on the video like it was so bad oh, wow. and, like i looked at you know like in a good way though like mm. it, like i need that honestly brutally honest like shit breakdown because like if if this is what the viewer is thinking it's going to help me improve my video so mm. it, was, it was very brutal like he destroyed the video like i thought it was good but after i saw that i was like all right you know what he is right like this is very cringy. Like I could have done this a lot better. Yeah. And like, that's what helps you create a, like uh, a better YouTuber. You know, you, you see, you, know, you get these harsh criticisms, but like see it as constructive criticism. Like these people are actually giving you good advice. And you know, a lot of people don't take it. Uh, you know, some people take it personal, but uh, at the end of the day is it is to help you. And so that is something I also do is I also make sure other people watch it, give me the feedback and make sure it's honest feedback. I love that so so much um so important like fancy he surrounds himself with honest genuine people and that he accepts constructive criticism he doesn't get offended absolutely i, I think there is an important lesson that a creator uh, needs to know because there there's a lot of creators i watch and i want to dm them like hey uh you know like this is you should do this instead of this mm. but i'm not sure if they would you know like yeah, take yeah. that easily so it, it's, it's it's a touchy topic because a lot of people will take it personal uh, and they'd be like, oh, Fancy sucks. You know, he said this and, and we're not friends anymore. So like, I just, yeah, yeah it, I try to be careful. Um, yeah. Like if, if people come to you, like a lot of the like, creators in the rust scene have come to me and be like, hey, like, can you help me out? And like, I take the time to help them. And like, I've seen like progress from them. I'm like, holy shit, like this is awesome. Like this he is you're heading in the right direction. Yeah. So yeah, like it's, it's, it's a good thing to do. Definitely reach out to fellow creators because um, you can learn together. Even if like you have like, hundreds of thousands even millions of subscribers like always asking for help is it, it doesn't hurt 100 percent, dude i love that insane um i remember the one time fancy you told me quite an interesting story about the origin of your name uh, i do oh, yeah. i do remember the origin but you can let the viewers really? know yeah yeah about your uh, automatic so, name <laughs> yeah. yes so, tell, tell the viewers fancy. how fancy orb came to be yeah, so Fancy Orb is a, uh, you know, he's a blue orb with, you know, a mustache, monocle <laughs> suit, so he looks fancy. I, I made it all in Photoshop uh, when I was like 16, so this is this is the OG profile picture. <laughs> but um, when I was a console gamer, when I was like 10 or 11, uh, I got my first Xbox Live, and they randomly generated a name for me, and it was Fancy Orb 5825. And ever <laughs> since then, I stuck with it. And uh, look, look where it is today. Fancy Orb is, uh, he's got a big channel now. Thank and you, I think Bill Gates. Year old, yeah, thank you, Bill Gates. Please don't copyright my name. <laughs> <laughs> but I think 10-year-old Fancy Orb would be very proud uh, looking if, if he could see where I'm at right now.
Oh god, like I can't even imagine what kind of because usernames are hard. You know, you have to come up with a good one and that represents your brand because eventually, um, I, I think it's just so genius. Like I really owe Microsoft a lot for this because Fancy Herb can like is, is a character, you know, you can be turned into a plushie or like a U2s, you know, like like the the blue orb with the, the mustache and stuff. You know, it's it's a it's a it's, good brand. And so I've got very lucky with that. What was my Xbox name called? It was something like Buffalo Skin or something. Yeah, like, they give you some goofy names sometimes. Just some dumbass <laughs> fucking names, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I I actually didn't do too bad with that actually no, it was uh, it was a, a nice w drive. microsoft uh tommy do you do you drive what do you drive i drive a sonic it's a it's a very small car um, oh, Chevrolet I, don't, sonic. I don't like uh yes yes oh i love those yeah yeah so i i can't drive the big cars i mean i'll drive them uh but you know it's parking sucks i am a bad parker so uh oh. <laughs> like the, small car, the, 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 the small cars held me with the parking situation it's a really nice uh, car in do, do you watch the transformers movies i have a long time ago so yes. so the first transformer movie where Wal, uh, mark Wahlberg took over from shia LaBeouf. i think it was like transformers 4 or something mm -hmm. anyway his his daughter in that movie has a boyfriend and her boyfriend rides a rally version of the Chevrolet Sonic RS. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, I'll, I'll send you the clip Wait, there. That, that's so interesting that you know that off the top of your head. I know. I used to be a car guy, so it was like my thing, you know, like cars. But um, that is a absolutely beautiful car. And then the guy obviously made it like look like rally spec. So he added like the body kits and the wings. and But like, oh like, like the racing version of it, not like the street racing gross Dude, version I have to say this. that's actually crazy yeah um, i don't know people would do that with a sonic okay so you you so you're a tall guy driving a really small car that should be quite interesting yes uh, uh, luckily my head does not hit the ceiling so we're all good on that <laughs> <laughs> i ask everybody the same sort of questions roundabouts if you had the room this is not going to really work for you because you don't play rust traditionally um mm -hmm. if you could take hold of the rust development team if you get made the owner of Rust or the lead developer, or whatever. What would you change about Rust? What What do you think needs oh, to man. change about Rust? Uh, a lot of there's a lot of good things I would like to change. Really? Um, oh, interesting. Th specific specifically for like uh, like videos that would help me, um, but then also there's a lot of things that I think would be cool to be added. Um, I, I'm more of like the content guy. Like you know, I like to do creative things. So I want to hmm. see. Eventually, I want to see parachutes. I know there's there's talks of that happening. Yeah, they're busy uh, working on it now. Yeah, I think uh, parachutes would be really cool. So that's something that uh, has always been on uh, my list. Okay. Uh, I think slingshots would be a really cool item. Oh, I you love know, like, the idea of those, dude. Like a cheap bow that you can shoot. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. Mm. Uh, I think uh, like jetpacks, that would be pretty fun. Uh, I know there's a jetpack plugin. Uh, no, I saw really in, like in Nardo's latest video, he, he did a jetpack video. Yeah, yeah, jetpacks are fun. Um, and then... Yeah, just like other like cool items that you could add into Rust. Um, but if there, if, there, if there was another thing, I think optimization would be a great thing because um, there's a lot of crazy things I want to do uh, in Rust, like with hundreds of people or maybe even a thousand people in like one video. Uh, but unfortunately, with a thousand people all clumped in the area or even just a hundred, a uh, hundred shooting AKs, it gets very laggy and the FPS goes down. Yeah. Um, so it, it limits the content I want to do. Um, so I don't know, something with that. Uh, but uh, I, I'd say more focused on like uh, you know, new items that I just mentioned. I, I think that is a, a massive problem because I know like, for example, Inardo does large numbers. You do very big war waging style videos right. and it, it becomes nearly impossible to play. I mean, my trap that I said for you earlier, I lit fireworks and my whole game dropped like by like 70%. Yeah. Like with Minecraft, you could do a tons of crazy things, like have like a bunch of oh, you know, God, plugins yes. going off, and and like the the performance would not be affected because mm -hmm. it's I think it's um like client based. Um, but you know I feel like Rust is very similar to Minecraft. You know, you, we're heading into that direction. Uh, both are very similar in their own aspects, like survival games. A lot of like free. Like it, it's very free. You can it's open world. You can do whatever you want. Mm. Um, so I I, I kind of compare it to each other, uh, but unfortunately there's a lot of limits that Russ has that hasn't gone there yet. So, I mean over the years we'll we'll be improving. So what is it? What is the most memorable moment? For, I I think I actually know what your most memorable moment is, but what is your most oh, memorable yeah. moment in Rust? 
the most memorable moment. I still remember my first interaction in Rust, and I will always remember this. So I'd say this is my most memorable one. Um, so when I first got the game, yeah, um, I, I, I was playing with a friend, uh, and it was when he was like playing Rust because he showed me it. Uh, he doesn't play Rust unfortunately anymore, but uh, I was looking for his base. I had just spawned it. He didn't tell me anything, so I was I had to figure it out on my own, and I was looking for his base. And uh, I found this like twig. I, I was I was building, and so mm. I was I built this twig. You know, sick, it was a three by two. Uh, you know, all twig. Didn't know how to upgrade. <laughs> and then these two guys with like AKs came, Aww. and I was with this random like naked guy. I was just talking with him, and uh, I was hiding behind the twig wall because I, I I heard <laughs> these guns coming, and they started shooting at the twig. And uh, my friend went out there first. And he's like trying to talk to them, and then boom, they just instantly killed him right in front of like uh, uh, my new twig house that I'm trying to build. And like I was like, my mouth dropped. I was scared. I was like, oh my god, is this what this game is? Like these guys are just like killing my friends. Oh. And and luckily I hid behind that wall, and they didn't come in and check, and they and they walked away. And so that was like my first time like I hid from like geared guys, and I will never forget that. Like uh, that was a ch I was like so scared in that moment like I, i've never been scared in the video game uh until then uh because i was like actually like holy shit i don't know what i'm doing i'm in the moment here this is crazy so i would say that's i, I will always remember that um uh, i'm so glad that we did the gaming section first because my power just dropped i'm not even joking oh hello i think you cut out fleck oh i heard something can you hear me fancy Oh, I hear you now. Hello. <laughs> hey, dude. Let me just quickly... I need to exit Rust, unfortunately. Remember I said the power could drop? Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it, did the power go down? Yeah, the power went down. <laughs> okay, so my typical luck... Um, my my um, footage died. My my, pow oh. my power died, so my footage all stopped recording. Several things stopped. My mic stopped. All my peripherals stopped. <laughs> So I've did, you get, did you get everything did it, or did it corrupt? No, it's, it's saved. It's saved. Thank God. Oh, fuck. okay. Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, scared me. Having a gaming laptop is so legendary because even if the power goes off, you still oh, you do have battery life. You know, you can you can save things. Yeah, dude, I always got to have a backup plan. Oh, God. So that is um, quite a ridiculous. Yeah, as soon as I heard you stop talking, I was like, oh, I think his power went out. Oh, i got to ask you that. Dude, I'll ask everybody this and it's like my favorite part of any interview. Um, I think I know it's coming. <laughs> I hope you got something I saucy. I know oh, I'm ready. I, I've been waiting for this. What is the most embarrassing thing that oh, has ever boy. happened to you in Are your you life? <laughs> Are you ready for this fight? Because this is actually bad, bro. Dude, is like, it gonna, I just want to know. Is it going to make my skin crawl through my soul? I, I don't think... It, like it, it was just... Here, let me, let me just <laughs> explain it. All right. This is... I, I will never forget this. Oh, man, my God. I is, love it so much. I don't even know what it is, but I uh, love it. And so many people... Oh God, okay, here it is. So, earlier I told you I like to play basketball, right? Yes. So, um, I was... You know, we were playing a game. Um, this is like a, like our local team. Um, and so, it was like towards the end, like where we are doing the final matches. Uh, so, you could like be the champion. Uh, and so... It was one of the games we had to win to get to like the final game for the championship, okay. um, and it was a very close game because the, the top like teams were like uh, at the top, and so um, you know we're playing against one of the, the best teams, mm -hmm. and it was a very close match. Um, and towards the end, uh, it was tied up, and a bit, like I think thirty seconds <laughs> left, and uh, yeah, so I I uh, I, I like the the buzzer's going down, and I, I go for a layup, I miss, but I get fouled. And like at this point, there's like five seconds left, and so it was tied, and uh, I had to make this shot, or else I'd pretty much lose it for our team. I mean, I, it was still tied; we'd go to overtime, but I had the one opportunity to win, uh, and I I fumbled both of my free throw shots. I don't know if you play basketball, I, 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 but I, I missed. It. Yeah, I missed both shots uh, at the free throw line. Uh, I was shaking. I was under so much pressure. Um, and th th this is this is many years ago too, so I was still young, mm. and um, I, I missed both shots. But that's okay because you know everyone's like, oh, we have to, you know, it, there's a, it's a tie. We go to overtime. Uh, well, short long story short, we failed overtime. Uh, we lost, and all of my god, dude, 
everyone was like disappointed in me, dude. Oh, All these no. parents were looking at me and like shaking their heads <laughs> as I was leaving. <laughs> Like, this like, motherfucker leaving, just ruined I, I everything. Leaving, dude, so many eyes were on me as I was leaving the gym. Like, this motherfucker could have won and it got oh, us the no. championship. But I, I fumbled the bag so hard, dude. And, oh, um, Jesus. That I, like, and, I never saw that team again, dude. Like, um, like uh, it was bad. Like, I, I knew, like, no one said it. But, like, I knew everyone was thinking and looking at me like, Oh, yeah, you, you, just you made us lose that game. Yeah, and yeah. like, there's so many parents and siblings and people oh, in the God. audience that dude, watched that, that too. that is a nightmare, dude. Oh, God, it was, it was bad, man. Oh. I'm so sorry that happened to you. But like, like <laughs> I, I'm just trying to think of <laughs> the scale because you've got this entire team. You've got coaches. You've got parents dude, right. of players. Like, there could have been like, scouts in the in the in You the know what I mean? There's the like, stands, like li literally thousands of people that are waiting on you and you ruined it. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I ruined it big time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like dude oh my god you, and, and uh, it was it was bad bro <laughs> but dude it was a good lesson though it was a good life lesson and it's not like it, it's a, it's a it's a failure i mean it's pressure it's nerves it's not like you did something dumb when you were like drunk and you threw up on somebody it's like right it, right. it was just pressure and and it could have gone both ways at the end of the day like if you lost somebody on the other team was a hero so like you know it's just a yeah that's true that's true <laughs> it, but yeah that, that's something i always remember so I, I, wow. I knew you were going to ask this question, so I knew I had to tell you. Yeah, and, and you just, you like, you walk in there after you miss these shots, and, like, you can feel eyeballs staring at you. Like, oh, my, so many eyeballs, you bro. You ruined like, our year. <laughs> dude, I saw so many disgusting looks, man. And oh, just, shame, uh, man. Dude, for fancy, this has been, honestly, like, probably the most fun I've ever had in a podcast in my life. Like, Let's go. It, dude, no, genuine. Like, the, the, just talking to you and hearing your journey and your story. I have to ask you one more thing, though, before we before we go. Yes. There. Are you dating anybody? I am single right now. So, okay, ladies. So, anyone out there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Discord no. DMs open, Twitter DMs open. I don't even know how you swing. In. I don't even know how you swing. So, it, ladies, men, I don't yes, know. Yes, ladies. Ladies, Oh, okay, please. okay. He's, he's, I mean, He's yeah, one of yeah. the straight ones, la ladies. Sorry, boys. <laughs> Sorry, horny boys. Uh, slide yep. into to fancy orb if you're an <laughs> eagle, you know, and you got a, a nice set of. You know, I am brains. actually looking for one day for a hundred e girls to be in a video. So if you'd also like to be in a video, hit me up. Fuck yeah! Slide into the DMs, and I mean the cost <laughs> the, the cost of um, of entry into your video is one nude, right? One. Oh one. oh oh! oh. <laughs> jo I mean, joking, totally oh joking. Come on, I mean, I was going to hey, say... Mr. Fleck, you know, you got to go through him first. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yo, so actually, I, I screened four Fancy's videos. He, he didn't mention this in the video, but if anybody does, you can apply through me, and then I'll forward the <laughs> successful candidates through to your Fancy. Yes, I appreciate, but, you know, do best wingman. Do, do you actually want to Do you actually want to make a video with 100 eagles? Actually, Yes, that, that is actually on my whiteboard behind me. Uh, 100 e-girls taking over a server and just seeing how we can dominate because you know a lot of a lot of girls you know don't play this game and when they do they get you know they get yelled at or cursed at because yeah you know, people think oh gamer girl get out of here but you know 100 of us will be unstoppable so i, I think that's that's think an that's idea that's that i've done on my notes and also yeah. I, I saw on twitter not too long ago a couple of the rust ladies which is very few of them mentioned that there's not many ladies in rust and it's actually true we yes. don't we don't have like a Offense or Willen in of female yeah, form. I remember reading that uh, that thread on Twitter. Mm. There's not a I, I can't even name like a big female Rust content creator. So honestly, like if they're willing to learn, I would teach them. Um, but like there, there that is a space that needs to be filled. Hundred um, percent. There there is no like you know there, there I, I only see streamers like uh, female content creators. Yes. I haven't really seen any like YouTubers, but. That space is waiting for someone. So whoever's the first to hop on that is going to have a very successful ride on YouTube. If you pass the flak audition, I'll send you through to Fancy. So send those pictures. I mean, let's go, application let's go. form. <laughs> application forms. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, yeah. I swear to God, I'm not a scumbag, viewers. I'm not a scumbag. <laughs> Um, yeah, Flex, Flex, a good guy. I, He's got a wife. All right, stay away. I do love though the 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 ideas that you said you've got a whiteboard and you've got the, the eagles you are trying to grow this community you're not trying to self enrich i respect Listen, you so I'm, much i'm here it. to take i'm here to take anyone that wants to be part of this journey with me um you know there's a lot of people i'm teaching there's a lot of people that uh, are helping me with videos and i i, I feed my people that's what i say i i feed my people <laughs> i make sure opportunities come to them as well uh, so I, I am trying to grow a huge empire 
and, and brands, but overall, like, trying to benefit the community as well. Such a, such a fucking legend, dude. I adore you. Love so you, Flag. I love you, man. I love <laughs> you, man. I appreciate you inviting me to this. I, I had fun talking. Um... I, I had a good time too. Thank you so much for being a guest. I was going to ask you to do the Afrikaans thing, but I don't think it suits your uh, the, personality. The I, I usually ask a Russ guest to say something in my local tongue, my local language. Oh, oh okay. I mean, uh, you, you can you can give me something. Do you want to do you want to swear in Afrikaans? Do you want to? Oh, I would love to. Oh my god. Okay. Wait, as long as because like, like you have a lot of power here, you could be making me say something very bad. So I'm very uh, I'm trusting you on. Yeah, this. I'm gonna make you say <laughs> full blown racism now. Um, Oh okay. my god. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Never, Black like, canceled. Dude, in, in this country, you, you can't even look at the word race that then people want to stab you, so I, oh I, I never fuck around. Uh, the, the, the best one that I do is the standard go-to um, one, and it goes like this. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Yo Masapus. Oh, I think you, you've said this to someone else, right? I have, I have. I've done it with two other people, but it's the nice okay. default one. and it's the it's Yo the, Masapus. Woo, that like should I say it more? Should I say it more angry? Like what? What's like a situation? Like how? Do, how would you say it? Uh, yeah, like your masa poos. Pretty much, yeah. Like your masa poos. Your masa poos. Your masa poos. Your masa poos. You masa poos. Like a like an angry villain. You masa poos. You you are, you are saying that in in the most American. I'm trying to be African. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I love that so much. <laughs> Yep, yep. It's actually weirdly it's from a language called Afrikaans and it's not African it's more Afrikaans which is not another thing completely it's actually Dutch so mm. our Afrikaans language is a watered down Dutch language uh, oh, that, that's why we can, we, we can understand the Dutch and they can understand us it's just um, I didn't even know that yeah yeah it's pretty pretty nuts fancy I've gotten you to be, be the best guest ever I had fun with you I played oh games my god you. that's huge I, I taught you a little bit of Afrikaans can you say it again one more time for the road your master boss <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much, bro. I love it. It was the yeah, best. Yeah. Thank you Let's so much go. for your time. Uh, I thank you for taking me on your journey, and I am so proud of your success. And I'm so blown away by your, your humility and your your humbleness, dude. I thank you, man. Wow. Hey, once again, dude, I appreciate you inviting me here. There's a lot of other options you could have gone to, but oh, come you chose on. me. And dude, it, it does make me happy. Like I I, I do appreciate you as well, dude. Man. I, I like swear you. to God, after six guests constantly saying confusion fancy or confusion if i didn't yep. interview you i someone would have rioted like i i got this thing where i put in my top comments and i said who's next and half of the comments is fancy orb oh dude let's go man dude, i appreciate nuts. that like, like well i'm glad we, we loves completed fancy orb. today let's but go man dude you're a star thank you for your time and i appreciate you just keep crushing that shit bro Thank you, man. I will. I will for you, man. And I'm going to keep inviting you out to videos. I want to be in every single people, one of them. People love the flack <laughs> and the fancy. A little combo. Awesome, dude. Thank you again for your time, and I appreciate you, bro. Awesome. Thank S you again. Stay well. Cheers. Blast me in my face! See what we're doing here! Is there a shotgun trap behind this door? <laughs> yes. yes. Alright! Let's see what you got! Do we need to farm wood? What do we need?